From five years of age, a dog's risk of heart disease increases incrementally. Unfortunately, many heart conditions cannot be cured or completely prevented, which is why regular veterinary checkups are so important as they facilitate early diagnosis. In this Animal Wise video, we try to raise awareness about the importance of early detection of heart disease in dogs by sharing the breeds of dog most at risk of heart disease and the most common problems which affect them. Mitral valve disease. Although there are several heart diseases and problems which can affect our dogs, mitral valve disease is the most common. Valves open and close to ensure blood flows through the heart in the right direction. With mitral valve disease, the heart valves thicken. As they do so, the atria do not close hermetically, causing blood to flow in the wrong direction. This results in the heart undergoing greater effort to pump blood. Mitral valve disease can affect all dogs, but those with weight less than 15 kilograms are more likely to suffer from it. The breeds most prone are Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Poodle, Yorkshire Terrier, Dachshund, Bichon Frise, Shih Tzu, Miniature Schnauzer, Pomeranian, Jack Russell and Fox Terrier. Mixed breed dogs and crosses from these breeds may also be predisposed to suffer from this type of heart disease. Mitral valve disease progresses over several phases, but it's usually asymptomatic until the last. Generally, dogs don't show symptoms until the disease is very advanced. At this point, the dog will be considered to be suffering heart failure. To improve the animal's quality of life, it's best to take them for periodic veterinary checkups, as this will provide better opportunity of detecting it before the last phase. Dilated cardiomyopathy. This is another of the most common heart diseases in dogs. The walls of the heart stretch and enlarge, in turn causing the heart muscle to weaken and enlarge. When the muscle is damaged, blood is not adequately pumped throughout the body. This is a serious situation that can lead to sudden death from tachycardia or leakage if not diagnosed early. Both diseases are genetic, so they cannot be prevented or avoided. In this case, the dogs that show a greater tendency to develop dilated cardiomyopathy are those of large and giant sizes, although those of a smaller stature can also be affected. Symptoms of heart disease. There are other heart diseases from which our dogs can suffer, including tumors or hypertrophic heart disease. The two previously mentioned, valvular and dilated, are the most common. Unfortunately, heart disease is usually asymptomatic during the early stages. It's not until the disease is very advanced that we may notice symptoms in the dog. Symptoms include increased respiratory rate, shortness of breath, coughing, tiredness, difficulty exercising or fainting. An early diagnosis is essential. How is heart disease diagnosed? A timely diagnosis will extend the life of the dog through administration of appropriate medication. If the disease is detected when the symptoms appear, its advanced state means treatment options are limited. To diagnose any heart problem, the vet will first listen to the dog's heart using a stethoscope. It's possible to detect a murmur or abnormal sounds that could confirm the presence of heart disease. In the case of mitral valve disease, additional tests will be necessary, such as a chest x-ray or ultrasound of the heart. In the case of dilated cardiomyopathy, a blood test and an EKG may also be required. The importance of veterinary checkups. As we have verified, a timely diagnosis is key to improving the quality of life of dogs suffering from heart disease. With proper treatment, they can live for many years while maintaining an active and happy lifestyle. Given that these pathologies rarely present symptoms during the early phases, we must stress again the importance of periodic veterinary checkups, as this is the only way to identify them. Veterinarians recommend a yearly checkup starting at 5 years of age in small and medium sized dogs, and starting at 4 years of age in large or giant sized dogs. Keep in mind the first phase of mitral valve disease is relatively long so the deterioration of the heart is slow and progressive until it produces heart failure. The later the disease is detected, the worse the damage will be. In the case of dilated cardiomyopathy, the disease progresses very quickly, so it's even more important to have veterinary checkups. For this and many other potential health problems, speak to your veterinary clinic about scheduling regular appointments. If you have any experiences with heart disease in dogs, share your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you next time.